How can we make the beauty of real life translate through digital screens? Color purity of the generated light is key. Nanotechnology holds the key to color purity and color tunability. When we utilize nanoscale semiconductor crystals, we can improve upon existing state-of-the-art materials while also improving the energy efficiency of our screens. In my lab at the University of Washington, we aim to understand the rules that govern the scalable and reproducible self-assembly of these nanoscale crystals and devise new strategies to tune the color, color purity, and energy efficiency of these quantum objects. A central challenge is actually doing this without using any toxic heavy elements, say cadmium, arsenic, or lead, uh, which have really formed the foundation of these types of technologies for the past 30 years. How would we approach solving that problem? Oh, hi. I work on improving the brightness of non-toxic quantum dots for lighting and display applications. Hi. I work on making new quantum dots with unique properties by controlling their size, structure, and assembly. Nanocrystals can be used for more than just lighting. I use them to lower the energy needed to make fuels and feedstocks from Earth abundant resources, like water. Opportunities for our research abound beyond color generation in TVs. In exploring different materials and material combinations, emergent properties arise that make these materials applicable for a number of technologies, including making fuels from sunlight and small molecules like water or CO2.